What's up everyone? Welcome back for more good vibes and video games. I am about to jump back into Hogwarts Legacy and it has been a couple days so I'm very excited. But before we do that, I just want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. And this is a big one because I normally don't do a lot of sponsorships here on the channel for various reasons, mostly because I'm kind of picky. But anyway, this was one that I could not turn down because it has kind of been a dream of mine and something in my bucket list to work with a company that is goaded in the gaming industry so i am very 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 excited for this one so take it away me thank you so much to ben q for sending me the x 3000i gaming projector to try out and for sponsoring this video i don't even know where to start with this one because i have a lot to say about this projector even though it was a bit of a pain to set up with all the small pieces the end result was well worth the effort the x 3000i offers a fully immersive gaming experience with great audio and visuals with an ultra low latency it delivers 3000 ansi lumens high brightness with a 100% DCI P3 long-lasting high-end colors via four LED solid-state illuminance. It allows for a true 4K HDR experience, and I've actually never gamed before in 4K, and after this, it's definitely going to be hard to go back. It also has a 4 millisecond response time and a 120-inch display, but you can go bigger if you have the space. The response time was incredible because I had virtually no delay between my controller and what was happening on the screen. BenQ game mode color page provides unique color settings for many of the trendiest games including God of War Ragnarok, Last of Us Part 1, Halo Infinite, and so many more. I was absolutely blown away by the before and after difference in color and picture when I changed the projector to RPG game mode. With the picture being so vivid combined with the dimensions, I legitimately forgot I was playing on a projector because I was so immersed by Kratos and Freya's love squabble. They're gonna get together, I'm totally calling it. Anyway, I want to give another massive thank you to Ben Q for sponsoring this video and seriously upgrading my gaming experience. If you have never gamed using a projector before, trust Trust me, it is a one-of-a-kind immersive experience. I'm honestly so honored to be able to review some awesome gaming tech for you guys to help you decide how you can take your games to the next level. If you're interested in the BenQ X3000i gaming projector, I will leave a link to it down below in the description along with a link to their color settings page and their subreddit where you can ask them any questions that you may have. If you do decide to grab one, I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did. Now back to the video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. I'm ready to jump back in, so let's do this. Oh man, has it been a bit. There is no better way to start off a video than, oh, you're already taken care of. Oh, I see how it is. You guys, uh, you guys cheating on me? You guys got somebody else that you love more than me? This is unacceptable. So much for the good vibes. If you can't trust a cute little puff skein, who can you trust? I can't be mad at Nifflers though, look, they're so damn cute. You can't, you can't like be mad at their little platypus face. Oh, I just, I want one. Why aren't they real? Why aren't they real? Why aren't you real? It's like, what do you mean? I'm right here. No. Like, why? Why aren't you real, real? Damn the human imagination. So good. Buddy! Glad to see you've picked up after yourself improvements. We're doing some work on oneself. One can always appreciate that. Nick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I am proud of many things. Most of all, my friendship with you. Oh goodness, what do I do today? Because we don't have a lot of side quests, but I know there's more on my map, but I think last time I did the Haunted Hogsmeade quest, and honest to god, that quest had me so entertained. I was set for days after that, like, I was just so content after playing that quest because it was so much fun, it was so entertaining. I was like, I didn't even- I didn't even need to be entertained for like two days after that, I just- I could just think of the quest. Or like, re-watch it on other people's channels because I couldn't get enough. So let's just look around the world, map her. Uh, that's all good. We got two little gray shields over here. Oh! 
Oh, no, 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 no. I have a very, very, very important errand to run today. Yes, where is it? We're gonna be catching ourselves a whooper. Whoop. I'm yours. You're gonna regret the day you were born, sir. This one! This one! Warm up! God, we're just so prepared. I can't pick up any more wig and weld potions. Once again, like me being prepared in anything, games, life, doesn't happen. This is a once in a lifetime thing. I wonder if I need any- <gasps> Get over here! Get over here! Get over here! Oh my god. All you guys, don't you go anywhere. Do you stay there? Oh my god. That thing's got a better head of hair than I do. Yourself, I mean you no, no! I mean you absolutely no harm. I look like a crazy person though. Oh my god. Two, two, three. Yep, that's it. You're mine. Don't. Whoop! Whoop! Get over here. You're mine. Three. Three, three, y'all. Everything's alright now. Yes, it is. You are safe forever. You will get all the treats. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I haven't forgot. I see you. I see you. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. No, they're oh, not Pokemon. Best day ever. Best start to any Hogwarts Legacy video to date. I would like to state this for the record. I have peaked. I have peaked. I am four, wait, four for four or five for five? I can't count. Um, either way, gotta get all them fooper feathers. I need them to upgrade to like level three stuff. <gasps> uh oh! Oh no, no, I was trying to get the goblin. Oh jeez. I'm trying to help you, Wolf. I'm trying to help you. Boom! Let's go get rest! What the fuck up? Get rest! Don't try that Expelliaramus concept. Expelliaramus. Does he just say Expelliaramus? Oh, I'm... Is this your... Was that necessary? No. Oh! Hold up. I oh I was gonna do like the best combo in the game. I honestly, one of my favorite combos. I don't know if it slept on at all or underrated. I don't know if a lot of people use this, but Levioso and Descendo, absolute masterpiece of a combat. Like just I love it. I love it. The yellow and the purple don't generally do damage just by themselves but sometimes this is one of the few pairs that if you pair it together it does so much damage and then you then you just throw two more damage spells at them and it's just like you feel so powerful you feel on top of the world okay i'm sorry i just had to gush about that for a second like never never thought i could feel so strongly about spell combos but here we are oh yes i'm back i don't know where to put my babies in there where where, where do i want to put my new babies my little babies. Um, I think I'm all out of species slots for this one. Yeah, we got four out of four species. Even though I definitely think the foopers kind of belong in here. Hold on. Is there anyone we can switch out? Not that I want to switch anybody out. I feel like the nifflers just belong in here. It would be weird to put them in the swamp. And it'd be... I just... I don't see them hanging out in the ocean. I'm just not... Not them. Mood calves, you cannot take them out of here. Puff skeins, again, can't take them out. I would even say... You know what? I think the bird species makes more sense on the beach. They kind of do look like seagulls a little bit. Alright, move to inventory. There, there. There, there. I'm I not going you. to hurt you. No, no, I'm not. Pluck your feathers, though maybe. I mean, I don't know. I hope, I hope it just tickles. Oh my god. <laughs> look at the foopers, though. That looks like that looks like me after a jump scare. I'm just 
Uncanny. Okay, so, oh my god, I love the hot pink one. That's like a night light. You just, it just illuminates. It just creates its own light. It's so cute. Oh my god, the white one too. I love that they all look like they got bad hair days. Okay, so we took them out. So let's put all the floopers in here. All four of them, baby. Oh my god. Oh, get over here. I want to love you so hard. I want to love you so hard. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta switch it. I'm getting so aggressive. I need to calm down. Look at it. Look at it. I want you guys to eat. I want you guys to eat. So I can pick your feathers. Or you know what? Let's just let's just speed this along a little bit. <laughs> Force feed you. Open up. Oh my god, they're so damn cute. Stop being so cute. This is illegal. You have the right to remain adorable. Anything you tweet can and will be used against you in the court of cuteness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my other one? There, there's four in here, right? No! I missed one. Beast limit reach. <gasps> Sad times. Sad times. I don't... I don't think I have the heart to remove anyone. I- this is the worst news I've gotten. They all have to go in there. They all go in there. I have an attachment problem where like if I rescue an animal and put it in a home and it's my home, like it's not going anywhere. I can't- I cannot give it up. Oh my god, I'm so pathetic. Okay, so the mere thought of even having to take one of these out, like choosing which one, I am so pathetic. I'm like literally gonna tear up thinking about this. I know it's a virtual animal, okay, but hear me out. The thought of having to simply take one of these out and like even put it just in another vivarium eating at my soul. I know that there's so many more important things going on in the world right now, but like this, in this particular moment, I'm gonna lose it. There we go. We gotta make room for our new Fwooper baby. And then we're gonna go move the other babies to the other vivarium. And then everything will be fine with the world. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, <gasps> there it is! I still haven't named any of them yet. This is awful. This is awful. What kind of, what kind of fur... Mama, am I? <gasps> okay. Um. Oh, it's still eating. Beast isn't ready. Okay, I can wait. A few moments later. Okay, wow, I got a lot of fooper feathers. Oh, and are they are they special ones? Because I noticed that there's different grades or like tiers to some of the animals, and because I know I have one in here. So I was like, what the heck does that icon mean? Oh, right here. So this moon calf, there's like a little cross symbol next to the moon calf. And I think that means like it's kind of like a like a shiny or like an extra special one, like shiny Pokemon. But magical beast, stop looking at me like that. Stop it. Oh, I do have a fooper. I do I do have a special fooper and it's a white one. Okay, so I wonder if the pure white ones are more likely to be shinies. Ah, literally caught a shiny. Uh, day made, day made. Okay, let's go put the other ones in the other vivarium. Okay, this is the only other place that it would make sense to put these. Um, so let's put the birds on the beach. And then you know what? Let's try, let's have the moon cast. Try to, oh my God, it actually kind of looks good out here. Oh, hi, Wing. Hello. How's my favorite hippogriff? I mean, I mean, Cal I mean, Caligo, you two, what? I don't have favorites? That's, that's, no. No, no, no. It's like, it's like choosing your favorite child. Like, we, you probably shouldn't do that. You probably shouldn't have a favorite. But like, maybe depending on the day you do. I don't know if any parents want to admit to that. Oh, no, no, no! 
No, 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 no. Normally I have, normally I have the brush right slotted to the top, so that was fun. That scared the crap out of me. I'm fine. I did not mean to disturb your breakfast. I did it again. I did, I did it again. Yes, I did. What did I want to do? I wanted to brush you. This is why... Oh, I almost did it again, but... There we go. It worked. When soft becomes muscle memory, though, I'm telling you, so hard to break that habit. I am so sorry. I need to leave. I am a danger to society. No, I was wrong. I thought you needed a swooper pether. Fwooper pether. Fwooper pe That's the kind of day I'm having right now. Fwooper feather. I thought you needed a fwooper feather. Try to say that really fast ten times. Okay, you can't. You can't. Sorry for the crazy eyes. No, for the level three stuff, you need measle fur. And I have not seen a breeding spot for them yet, so maybe that's on the agenda for today as well. I'm not mad, though, because I still caught... Four foopers and one of four foopers. Four four foopers. And one of them was a shiny, so I regret nothing. Alright, now let's get to some fun stuff. I wanna go pick up these quests, and then we'll just go from there. See where the land of Scotland takes us. Okay? I I don't know. I can never face Milo's daughter again. Oh, I've spoken to you before. Is there something I can help you with? Mr. Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Glass Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. Too All good to I be true. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Yeah. They had known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Oh, he did. Um... Yeah, well, there was a lot of red flags there. I'm sorry. I think he did deserve it. <laughs> Maybe for my Savage playthrough. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the Acromantula. I did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. So that his daughter would have something to remember him by, but I... I fled. That's so sad. Why chase after a rac... A acro... Mantula... Venom, I don't know. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, Acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... As Paul Milo has proven, <laughs> impossible to get from a live Acromantula. Oh, I mean, yeah, there, there is that. I forgot. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'll be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Dear, dear man with fantastic hair. Fret no more. Uh, I will go get it. Where could that Acromantula cave be? Find the Absconder's cave. Yes, yes, let me pencil you into my very busy schedule. I think I have time. Yeah, I like money. <gasps> oh, that's creepy. Oh, 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 God. No, 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 I'm not prepared. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Whew. Um, what did I have on this one? This one is normally... Oh, crap. Accio. Um, oh, yes, there's that. And then I have the two fire spells. Confringo and Incendio. Which actually would be fantastic. Here. Incendio! Confringo! Can I transfigure that thing? Oh no, it's too big. Ow. Get ow. Get ow. Get Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, rest of momentum. Eh. Where's the little one? Where is it? There you are. Ah! You go in. 
the one anyway. Oh. Oh, I've been down in this cave before. <laughs> Defeat spiders. No, no, no. Oh, come on, it blocked it. There we go. Thank goodness for Bombarda. Oh, I didn't even know that dueling must feet. Be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Oh, <gasps> bunny, get out! No, Thank not the bunny. Stand up, bunny. I will destroy you, and I did. That's right. I always have a hard time looking at the dueling feats. Like I never think to look over there. It just doesn't stand out amongst all the other colors, so I always overlook it. Da. Eat rocks. No. No. I love- yes. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Levioso and Descendo. It's actually- this is actually a really good wheel for, um, spiders too. Or like, if you did Levioso, Descendo, and then the two fire spells, because I think they're, you know, more... What's the word for it? Weaker to fire. I don't know, it's just fun to play around with it. There's so many... Okay, wait, do I go this way? Yes. It says that there's all these enemies behind me, but they're just the baby spiders. Rebellion. Nothing up there. Kind of glad I already came through this and like looted everything. Oh, oh no, we do need to go down this way. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Oh yeah, it does. It does. It does look like it. Oh, that's the biggest. Is that the biggest spider I've seen in the game yet? Oh no, thanks. No, no, I'm good. Okay, if if keep putting rocks in my way, people. Come on. Oh my god, that's freaking terrifying. Brush your damn hair, you nasty. Mm -mm. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. L no. F that. F that. Yep, cool. You gross. Leg hair so long you could braid it. Ow. Big spell combo on you. No, nope. Gross. I ain't scared. Done. Now that's taken care of. I need to find the heirloom for Milo's daughter. Oh, easy. Good. Oh, I was gonna descend to it. It disappeared. Oh no, there's more? So I, I clearly had never made it down to this part. I, I didn't do these. Gross, dead. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. Found it. All right, let's get out of this godforsaken hell hole, sir. I almost died, I but you're welcome. None the worse for wear. Oh, I take it you decided against entering the absconder's cave, then. No, I, I did. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard. How did you? 
Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here it is. I'd like a reward. No, I like this guy. He's great hair. I'm not gonna, not gonna take away his money. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend, and I shall miss him. Please, uh, accept this reward for your trouble. No, 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 please. Like, I insist you keep the money to keep that hair beauty going. Just spectacular. May I see your wares, though? What do you have for sale? Ah, uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your business. I love you. I love your hair. I love your accent. You know... I'm a fifth year, right? So what am I like? Look, too young for this dude. Call me in ten years. A well, well, well. We have another quest up here. I got it. I gotta do it. It's it's right here. We might as well. Let me guess. I think it's got something to do with a well. Psh, knew it. How did I get so smart? <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello? I was not expecting that. There's a voice coming from that well. What? No, I didn't hear anything. Can you help me? Is someone down there? Down there? Oh, beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me. <coughs> Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> he caught. If you could please take it. <coughs> Oh, 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 another treasure chest. Or, yeah, another treasure thing. I swear I've seen those ruins before. But for the life of me, I, I can't remember where they are right now. Oh, um, it looks like it might have, like, a easier way to find it on the map. Okay, so I'll have to keep an eye out for something like that on the map, but... I was gonna say, I hope it's not gonna make me like stick my arm down there because I don't really understand well anatomy, but thank goodness, it just spit it back up for us. Seems to be some sort of map. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What a relief. I hope the map serves you well. Oh, at least better than it did me. <sighs> You're a well. People probably literally throw money at you. You got it made. Dude, oh my gosh. I thought I was done with, like, all the side quests up here, and then all of these ones just randomly popped up. Okay, so we, we- Oh, these are over here! Oh, it's- Oh, it's a little bit farther south of us. Oh, okay. Wonder who lives here. Hello. Oh, another shopkeeper. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? Yes, yes. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Oh, <gasps> no, not the, not my cabbages. Those cabbages can't be fierce though. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. <laughs> my thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they will simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Let me do it for you. Why are the goblins attacking Feldcroft? Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says we they've know. been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something, but lately, they've become more aggressive. Well, so have I. Couldn't you grow new cabbages? Could you not grow or buy more Chinese trumping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. True. The entrepreneur in me is wanting to strike up a business relationship. He'd be like, well, I happen to have a room of requirement with a very healthy stash and grow table full of chomping cabbages. <laughs> Where do you think the crates are? 
Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft, the other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. I'll see what I can Very do. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. Yes, tell Bernard. All right. No, I don't need to see your wares. Thank you. I should be going now. Thank you. I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. I, I 100% agree. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Oh yeah, we're going. We gotta go rescue some cabbages. Oh my god, that just scared the sh- Places! Bums? Oh my god! Bombarda! Leviosa! Send her! Ha ha ha. Satisfying. No. Your poaching days are over. Oh my god. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. I think those dogs just scared like two years off my well, lifespan. Boy, they're called unforgivable curses. Using them don't bother me, no. That's messed up. Let me now you've got to Whoa, let's go. I love the chicken one, that's funny. Revelio. Oh right, so we gotta look for the crate of Chinese chopping cabbages. Oh that's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Oh gosh, quick one George! Let me save this whooper. Or someone's about to get whooped. I, I, not afraid to do it. Revelia. Where's the other crate? There's also clear. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. <gasps> oh, I, oh no. I can't pick it up because I didn't realize I was. Oh well, let's go use some chopped cabbages. What? There's a trick wheel nearby again. Yeet. You're that Yeet. hypocrite thief. No, you're just a awful person. What are you? What are you yapping about? Oh, let's just let's just do this. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna throw you at somebody. That's so cool. Best upgrade that I've done for any weapon. Revelia. So we gotta go back up there. And go grab that other one. <gasps> and then the foopers. I gotta go save the foopers. Okay, so, oh, pokes, you must not be able to do that. Oh, where'd you guys come from? before I find Ah! Oh, no! You said you hug me. Oh, didn't need to use that on them, but it's okay. Yeah. Um. Revelio. Right. So the cabbages. Now I can pick them up. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Oh, if the other, I should have used another one. Can I? Oh, why can't I unlock it? Uh, no. I'm going to be so sad. No, 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 no. Why won't it let me open it? Okay, let me go finish this quest. I'll be back for you. Enjoy. I can see why Feldcroft needs. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'll throw one. Never anything Boom! Boom! Done. Whoa, 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 where are you? They all dead? We too good. 
Oh, come here. There's more. I love it. Best part. Best part. <laughs> uh, I love like the intuitive and almost automatic combo when you level up the transfiguration spell in your talents um, and you make it so that it turns them into an explosive barrel and then you can use the ancient magic throw to just automatically throw it at another enemy. Another amazing combo that just they made it so easy to do. Yes. Yeah. It's like one and done, easy. It's so OP. It's so OP. It's not even funny. Well, it's funny for me, not for them. Right, where is this crate? Oh, I love these chests. These are always something good. Yeah. That's all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. There they are. I better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Mm, okay. Renrock suspects there is more of it in Feldcroft. Do not return if you've found it. Renrock demands an update. Have you found it? Report back immediately. They can't because they're now deceased. Courtesy of yours truly. You're welcome. Hello there. Oh, there Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Oh, yes. Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I did. I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. And thank you for having one of the greatest mustaches I've ever seen. His mustaches even have like these highlights. <laughs> and then with his outfit, seriously, one of the best parts about this game is the fashion. It just, it, it brings out so much character in the NPCs. Like it really makes them look very individual with their fashion sense. I love it. Why are goblins targeting Feldcroft? I want to see what he has to say about this. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location. But now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. And I can't tell you because that's classified and I'd have to kill you. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. You know what's so cool is like when they, when all these like normal, just very regular wizarding people are all like, oh, I'm a Hogwarts alumni. It really like, it doesn't really take away the magic of like the school, like seeing that these people just grow up to be these just normal entrepreneurs like running kiosks and stands and their own little businesses and stuff you're welcome happy to be of assistance at last some reinforcements yes. hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins you're very welcome all right i need to do something first i came back to free them and i don't know why it won't let me like, do i have to Okay, so logically, if I could just shoot these, I should just be able to shoot this one and break it, but like, no, obviously we can't do that, Rebellion. but I'm mega sad and kind of confused as to why I can't rescue that one. I want to see if I can go rescue the one that was also up here. But I, I assume that it'll probably be the same deal for some. I think it has something to do with you. Oh, let's do. Let's turn it into something. Oh! If you hit transfiguration on an animagus, does it turn them back? Get freaking wrecked. Beast around here can sleep a bit easier now. And I better be able to... 
No! Why won't it let me? Why won't it let me rescue this one? That is so weird. I've never seen a beast cage Rebellia. without the lock on it. It makes me so sad. Maybe I'll reload it and then come back and see if I can do it. If it's a simple reloading problem, I'm gonna laugh. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, I did be not need strong, to- Alexandra. I did not need to jump on my broom. <laughs> I am lazy, but I'm not that lazy. I like- I like your outfit! Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about- about- I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I- What? thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. Uh, I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> But my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. Don't... Do not tell me you are hiring me to kill your pet troll. I... It certainly takes a lot of courage to try. I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. <sighs> what made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my <laughs> troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. <sighs> I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Me, me. I have an idea. Also, she referenced the tapestry. I'm pretty sure that's right across from the door for the room of requirement. I thought that was cool. Okay, what were you training the troll to do? What Ballet? exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. I mean, that's fair. Frankly, that's I struggled fair. to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Barmy? Who's Barnabas the Barmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry yep. of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. <laughs> you can imagine how that turned out. Not well. I think he died. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Go to the troll's den. Maybe I can, like, talk to it and, you know, talk it out of whatever it's doing. Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Yes, yes. You know what? We'll do her a solid. I take it you're Alexandra's friend? Alexandra's troll. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still sorry. Oh, okay. Well, I just—I did deserve that. I definitely did deserve that. Oh, my weakness. Nice. I feel awful for Alexandra. But the Hamlet needed to be saved from that troll. What's this? Oh, a book. Progress notes, week one. Oh, this is her progress. Etiquette may have been too ambitious to start. It seems we must first cover the fundamentals of not smashing. <laughs> we'll keep this in mind, but proceed to week two. Still vicious. Yeah, she went straight for like table manners. 
Week two, only produced a string of grunts. Still very vicious. <laughs> Week three, he has the right temperament for it, but lashes out indiscriminately. Somehow poor fish. <laughs> it seems like her work was doing the opposite. Like, it was regressing and it was getting worse. Revelio. Troll lesson plan. Week one, social graces and etiquette. Please, thank you, pardon me, sorry. Week two, uh, elocution. The witch went flying for the snitch and fell in a ditch. <laughs> oh my goodness, week three, security training. She's trying to teach him tongue twisters and it did not go well. That is too funny. Oh no. Let's go tell her it's done. Maybe we didn't kill it, we just, you know, knocked it out. So I don't feel so bad about it. Forest rivet gloves. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Yeah, until we tell her that we murdered her troll friend. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank, thank God, okay. things could have turned out differently for him. Yeah. You did what you could. There wasn't much you could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Yeah. Goodness. There was I'm that. glad you're alright. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. A moniker? It was troll something or other. Slay- Ooh, Slayer, Vanquisher, Whisperer. Well, we didn't whisper to it, because we just- we- we killed it. Um... Vanquisher? Slayer is too obvious. Troll Vanquisher. Vanquisher? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I yes. need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. Sweet, does it come with a t-shirt? Rebellion. I need... The Troll Vanquisher. Suppose I did earn the title. Does have a nice little ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, I need this. Need mine. <gasps> oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not a drill. Did you just see that wand handle? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We need to inspect. Yes. Shit, that is spicy. Oh, mm hmm. Oh my gosh, it's got like the celestial theme. It's got stars and stuff on the handle. Th this was made for me. This was made for me. It's got its own like little globe at the at the butt of it too. Mm. Beautiful. Hi, Peeves. Yes, we. Of course, he's gonna be in the astronomy tower. Yo. Oh my gosh, look at how cool. Revenia. What was that tinkling sound? Okay, I thought I heard something. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean... Well, might this be dangerous? Oh, yeah. I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. All right. How do you know... How well do you know gobbledygook? You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My oh. parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. <laughs> well, well then, have you ever met a goblin? Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. I kind of hope we get to hear what it sounds like. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. He's going to bring a whole dictionary. <laughs> Can I just hop on my broom? 
No! Oh, what if I... Hold on. I have a question. I have a question. Can I jump over the side? Yes, I just did attempt that. Okay, I wanted to see if I could get on my broomstick. But no, I can't. So sad. Gotta pop some balloons first. Yo! A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Oh, so he knows you're a traitor. But you had no choice. You should... How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor. Bragbor. An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not yes. long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacard, Morganock, and Rookwood. Oh. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Oh, good call. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. <laughs> oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not <laughs> the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot <laughs> join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, that's wonderful for me. Mm. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. The you great and your friend eye. must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. What, what game are we playing? Is this Lord of the Rings or is this, is this Hogwarts? The Great Eye of Sauron? Amit and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. I love you, Lord Lodgok. He seems just like a great person. Okay. Oh, can I do this? Can we like, just make a really quick pit stop, Amit? Rebellion. Ooh. Wait, no, maybe that's the door. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, where's the thingy? The doodad. I think I have a feeling. I have a feeling.
feeling it's like why ooh hey 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 I see it ha What the hell was that? I got it but I don't I That just gave me whiplash. It just gave me whiplash. Where the heck is the little thing that I'm Avelio. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I was like, that looks too much like a perfect slide. Um, I knew it had to go sliding down this. Closer. There we go. Just to hope it's a hole in one. Come on, let's make it a hole in one. Hole in one. Hole in one. No. I just gonna hope for the hole in one from back up here. No? Are you serious? Come on. Go! 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 You got this! You got this! You got this! You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I don't care. Depulsor. Yes, I did just do that. Yes, I did just do that. <gasps> Please tell me I got it. <sighs> your your joke. How? How is this possible? How, I don't even know how that's. I don't know how that happened. I can't believe it missed it. How did it miss the hole? How? All right, we'll come back and do this later. Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Let's go inside the big the mysterious door metal door. Is looking at us. The eye. Oh, it's like those eyeball chests. Let's switch this to there. Do we? No, we don't. The mind's eye. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mind. It's even grander than I had expected. Okay, then. A little bit too excited. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive Ooh, workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. He's going to be fun to hang out with. Do I want the disillusionment spell? I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Let's switch this. Here. Oh. Cool. Just throwing stuff at me. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, I thought that was gonna like unlock something and that was gonna be the way forward. I didn't even see this. I've read about mines like this, but seeing them is something else altogether. Such arrogance. Such arrogance. We need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. I'm counting on it. I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. You never killed anyone before? Welcome to the club. Just kidding. That's dark. Revelia. Um. We're being watched. Uh -huh. By a door. Yes. I know just how to. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Yes. We 
can't get through as long as we can be seen by that man. Okay, so maybe that means I can't even pull that down. You can't see me. It's like I have been bamboozled. No, that was Transfiguration. Back. Yeah. Why would that come down? That's weird. Maybe there's like something blocking it? Maybe there's something blocking something. I can't see it. Is there some- is there anything that my tunnel vision selective sight is missing? Couldn't tell ya. Maybe it's gotta do something with this in here. <gasps> ah! Incendio! Yeah. That's what I thought. So, what exactly. Oh, I didn't even think to come up here. What? Wait, 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 What? Okay, so I think that's the way to go. So this is like an extra. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, it takes us to that upper level. Oh baby. <laughs> Can't wait to go back. Okay, I don't think I miss anything. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. The Lord of the Rings. I call Let's being take Frodo. Around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Or Gandalf, because Gandalf's Bound the best. To be plans around here somewhere. I found one. I want to go collect everything first. Or collect as much as I hope I can find. Ooh. Right, well, it's up here. Oh, there's enemies. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, just ever so slightly too far away. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. Rebellion. Imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. Um, so it looks like here's a plan. One of the plans. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Headed? Handed? A schematic? They're building Rebellion. something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? A weapon? A drill? A magic drill? If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Rebellion. Um... Okay, that looks like it's beyond us. That's right! I won't be Let's do... Actually... 
Oh no, I'm out. Much worse. Another okay. boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Just let me do all the work. Ah. Incendio. There's that. More gold. Mavelia. Ooh, so there's this ah. here. So what? Oh! Oh, it's the way through. Okay. That is so cool. Um, let's go check the upper levels. There is a lot of stuff around here. So much hidden stuff. Akio. No, no, no. No, nice try. Okay, maybe we should try pull stones. Maybe that's better for opening these. Revelio. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Please be good. Cool. Ooh, hickory striped robe. I kind of just want to see what that looks like. Medium ground surfaces. Yay, more stuff for my move requirement. So here's another schematic. Another schematic. Revelia, are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. This mine is too small? Maybe we gotta go deeper into the mine and then we're gonna find it. Revelia. Thing down here. Devil snare. Whoa. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Let's just light it on fire. Ooh, yeah. Wild Dittany. I don't feel like switching my spells. We're just going for it. Or you can just, I guess, maybe just dash through it. I hope there's another fight. I want another big fight. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, nice. That was awesome. Oh man. Lacey is you. You're making this too easy. <laughs> Nice! Let's work in together. Oh. Oh. With that. oh, yes, I will. No. Yes! I will make you. Boom! Is there one left? Where? I'm gonna turn you into something. Wait, can I blow you up? I How many of them are there? <laughs> that should be the last one I'll meet. Nice. Avelia. What do we got in here? No. I'm too prepared and I haven't been taking enough damage. Um. So there's the door. There, oh, that's gonna bother me because it looks like there was something, some chests right back there. Maybe I gotta go through this though. There's some money. Here. 
Oh, that's not running. Where's the thing that we have to light? Oh no, did I miss a boiler that we have to light? Okay, no, I'm just a ding dong when I thought about it a little bit more. <laughs> I realized there was this eye door. <laughs> it took me a bit longer to realize, but it's fine. There we go. Revenia. Chest. Sweet. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could I contain. Knew I knew it. I knew it. Let's get down to here and tell Lord what we found. Damn, whatever it is that they want is so powerful and so big that they can't just, like, blast through it with magic. Okay, so we need to go back and tell him. Oh, maybe I forgot about this. So let's see what. I bet you it opens up the the little tunnel-looking thing in the in the room back there. Or oh, no, it's an elevator. I was not expecting this. Do we just walk and meet up? I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Rebellion. Let's go. Rebellion. Ooh, I want to go see what's up here. <gasps> oh, I have all the lock picks too. Rebellion. Oh, this would be good. Cool. House standing banners, let's go. And then money. Okay. Gotta take this up. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Oh, the shortcut. Welcome sight indeed. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? Yeah, yeah, you know, th the first time might be a bit unsettling for you. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really, was. it really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. <gasps> for a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I want 10%, though. Without further ado, at you. <laughs> I'm such a hustler. Um... That was so funny how my character was like nonchalantly, oh, that was that was good fun, wasn't it? And uh, Amit's like, no, no, that was, there was no fun to be had. <laughs> I think we scarred him. I feel really bad. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. Isadora. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. Oh. She told me that she was a researcher 
and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with the strange symbol on it. Yep. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. Oh! She told me of her research, and I know of the container. Shoo! <sighs> the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. Aww. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. Oh. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Oh! I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. This just got so good. Oh, I loved all the emotion behind that conversation. That was awesome. Lord Lodgok needs to be protected at all costs, and if he mother flippin' dies, I swear to God, someone's gonna regret it. Someone's gonna regret it. I hope Professor Fitz. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Well, it's been a minute since we've heard from Alby. Now I just want to keep doing the freaking main quest just to see what happens. When he said researcher, I immediately thought Isadora, obviously. Because I was like, goblins can live for a really long time, right? Like, I don't, I don't really know how long ago that necessarily was. Like, exact time timeline, but I don't know. My mind just initially went to Isadora, but... Oh my gosh, to, to hear about Miriam again, who was just kind of like this one-off. I assume she's kind of like this one-off character that you hear about once at the beginning of the game, who maybe is the catalyst behind everything else, but I, I did not assume we were going to ever hear about Revenia. her again. But where was that? Where was that? Uh Oh, I think this was the... There, There's the ball again. Okay, we have to make this right. Oh, it's already done. That's really nice. It once you spend mallow sweet leaves, like you're good. You are good to go. One hole in one, hole in one. Hole in one. Hole in one. Hole in one. Get that momentum. I should investigate. Come on, we got this. I can't believe it went past it the last time. We go so close. Come on. You got it. Come on, gravity. Do your thing. Ugh. This ball's defying gravity. He's my rebellion. 
got it. Do you kind of want to do the Albi Weeks quest? Because I do really enjoy using the broom, to be honest. I like using both the mount and the broom, but I like the broom for when I need to get some somewhere, like a shorter distance, very quickly. But... Let's get out high wing. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, not yet. Didn't realize Slow there's down one now. Oh, there so we close. go. Defender. Ah! What are you doing? Ah. Oh. Oh. My mind for some reason like automatically went it's like God of War Ragnarok still has a chokehold on me because I went to go dodge with X again. I thought I was past this. Not. Okay, so. I think. Does it matter where we start off from? Let's just start off from this. Gotta jump to these platforms. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this. Oh, it doesn't count. Dang it. Okay. I thought it was gonna count. Um, no. Okay, so that's interesting. Cause I did it I did one of these puzzles once with a broom. And it counted. Oh, I think I was overthinking this. Shocker. I'm not. Merlin himself would be proud. <laughs> Second time's a charm. Wonder if there's any more side quests we can do. Let's take a look. The sky's the limit, and then we got we still gotta do the well, 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 but we got time. But let's go talk to Professor Neem Fitzgerald. Oof, that rocked my world. Okay, what was I saying before? Okay, I think I was gonna go talk to this professor. Yeah, let's do that. Whew. Welcome so back. Talk to you? Yes, okay. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Hello, professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. Ooh. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor hey. Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. No. Unfortunately, <laughs> this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Yeah. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Headmistress speaks. I like her. Okay. Let's go. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. <laughs> We're asking a teacher how we can break into the headmaster's office. I don't think he likes Professor Black very much, so I think this will be easy. And I saw that we had another... Cyclist he here in the he's castle. he's getting away with this, he has another thing coming. He's got another thing coming. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. Oh. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells <laughs> oh, in no. the bell tower. <gasps> Said they were giving him a headache. 
Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. Oh. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Hmm, I think that I already did that. I hope it saved where I put the bells. Um, if not, it's at least I know how to do it. But what's so important about the bells? Did Professor Black really remove the bells for a headache? It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's oh, all he does in hourly his Hourly naps. You know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. <laughs> Professor Black, even though he's one of those characters where we never hear from him like we never see him but we hear so much gossip about him that we don't ever have to talk to him throughout the whole game and we kind of get an idea or at least an idea of other people's perceptions of him maybe not who he is as a person but maybe from the little that we've actually seen of him in person maybe that's also extremely telling but just really funny why can't you put the bells up yourself? If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. That's so funny. Okay, what's so important about the bells? Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. Do, 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 do. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Sweet, and I know we have some chests there to to go open up and I unlock. I imagine the bells are just inside the bell tower. I'm so good. I'm so good. We already did. It did save it. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. <laughs> so I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his This face. ought to get me the house cup. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. Yeah. Also, I changed Don't my outfit. I how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like, that was so, so easy because I already did it. Best quest ever. Professor Fig. There you are. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgog knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want Aww. to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person ew. you want to change into? Ew, ew, ew. 
and take ages to brew. It does? So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt You're the devious. need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, <laughs> time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. You devious bastard. I'm so proud. So much for not spending time with him. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> now to find the Headmaster's house elf. This is going to be weird. Now when we're speaking to people, I got to use all the opposite dialogue options than what I have been choosing. That's going to be really hard. All right, how, where are we going? Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? Ooh. I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp, I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. What did he, rec what did he order? I will decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. Okay. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. TMI. <laughs> Sorry, I asked. Of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Oh my god. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Yes, you did. Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. There are sorts of places I'd rather be Fig right knows now. what's up. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently <gasps> went missing. I'm abusing my power. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Oh my gosh. Fig is a genius. Oh, we have to see the headmaster pet this cat. So we can remind people that maybe he does have a heart. No. <laughs> well, there's one for my diary. <laughs> he did respond. He's like, I never thought I thought I'd see the day. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Headmaster. Uh, Maya yeah. character's what having way want? too much fun with this. Oh yeah. Mr. Gaunt. Mr. Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? 
typical student wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Wow, we're just bullying the students. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Yes, do better. Professor. This feels so wrong. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But... The injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, no. more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Ooh, so, tell them... For good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. No way! Oh, this would have been the perfect opportunity to A, put Quidditch back in session, and I hope to God that we get the option later to set free his house elf. I think that would be so savage. Amazing. Um, please do. <laughs> good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you oh. need it. Now, where is my Such elf? Such a smart ass. I... Parchment? Very well, I will. And with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm. I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Okay, maybe we're taking our role here a little too seriously. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? I heard that. I heard the... Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? True, though. That's gross. Who else can I bully in this courtyard? Bah humbug! Oh no. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off. We just dissed ourselves. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! <laughs> oh no! Professor, oh, no. I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, a leeway with his time. Damn. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. He's handling secret ministry matters? And I don't miss him. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may... I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest Ooh. to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? 
<coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I'm sick. You'll never understand that man. <coughs> I'm not well. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Did he just... Wait, did he just try to fist bump me? Damn. Oh no. Oh no, Professor this is going to be good. Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Hi Scrope. Can I can I speak or okay. Scrope. Oh, a greetings, master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even master himself. You dare question me? How? Dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Yes. Master does remember it. No, uh, I seem to have slept too long. It's, it's to do with strength. It's to do with my family's reign? is to do with purity of blood. Hmm. I'm trying to think back to, I think it was the the fifth movie when I think Harry and Sirius Black, which I'm assuming descendant of Black, uh, I remember them kind of talking about his family tree in that room with all of the faces in there. And I think he talked about a lot of the family members having that fixation on purity of blood. So I think... I'm gonna go with this. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always Knew pure. It. Knew it. Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Oh, uh, my God. Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Toujours Thank pur. you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Well, that oh. was like pulling teeth. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. That was embarrassing. <coughs> Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, I'm just glad it's coming out this end, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Oh my god, that was so funny. That was my favorite quest so far. Love the humor. All right, so it looks like I don't really have any main quests to do right now, but I'm definitely going to stop this episode here. I have so many side quests to do for next time. We got something to do with Natty again. We got another follow-up Poppy Sweeting side quest, which is going to be so fun because I love hanging out with her character. I know there's a lot more side quests that just randomly popped up while I was doing other things in the castle so when i was kind of poking through all the wings i discovered those so we got a laundry list of things to do and get through for next episode can't wait hope you guys enjoyed this episode for hogwarts legacy this was so fun and i loved ending on this one i loved the that we got to actually use polyjuice potion in the game and there were just a lot of really fun moments we got a little bit more insight into professor black and who he is and how he treats all of his colleagues and the students. Oh my god, so fun. 
That one definitely gave me a good chuckle, and I am going to continue playing this today. I'm going to record another episode right after this one. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button to get notified. Also, while you're here, make sure to check out all the links down below in the description. Hope you guys have a magical rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.